Hey everybody, it's Kevin. Today is Saturday the 31st of October 2020. It's Halloween. Um, wow. Um, I feel like I should have a cauldron going with um, charcoal and Lord knows what else in it, but I haven't. <laughs> um, yeah, I do that the rest of the year. <laughs> um, anyway, I have a bit of a treat for you today. Um, what was a treat for me when I got the cards? Sometimes when I'm working with, um, excuse me for being a little bit distracted, but this is exciting. Um, sometimes when I'm working with, um, I don't know whether you want to call it tarot or um, oracle cards, um, especially lately, I have found it somewhat challenging to focus because the messages, I... I have to get quiet and centered to hear the clarity of the message or the clarity of what's what where how do I get a meditation out of this like I've shared with you before nothing's really planned out I don't really sit the night before the day before hours before um <clears throat> with a paper sometimes I do it depends on if I think there's something huge to respond to something um of a spiritual nature, metaphysical nature, a thing that um, perhaps has happened. Um, case in point, 9-11 would be one. Perhaps the outbreak of um, COVID-19 would be number two. Those kind of big major shifts. Uh, but what I feel going on right now is the shifting on all kind of levels um, everywhere. So it was no accident that this morning <clears throat> I'm shuffling these cards as I do and really just focusing on what's the highest purpose, what's the highest message, what's the most clear um, focus I can give for folks today. And cards kept flying out. Just Kyle Gray refers to them as jumpers where they jump out the deck and they want to be seen so the first card that jumped out of the deck that wanted to be seen was the dragon's duel um that is uh inner conflict um the conscious choices the the ooh, the looking at yin and yang and good and bad above below in and out all of these um vacillating uh choices so it didn't really kind of sit right, so I popped it over onto the side and just stuck it there just to see if it would fit. So we're going again, we're going again. And then I got the dream mate. No, second card I got was the Lady of the Gift, upside down inverted, that comes up as a challenge. So um, now I'll put her up right because, I, yeah, maybe I don't like challenges. That's why that is. So I popped her down. Now, when it's a challenge... The Lady of the Gift encourages everyone not to hold back, to um, keep working forward, keep moving forward. Um, um, and even if you've got information, even if you uh, feel like I want to say something, I want to I want to I want to bust through the wall. I want to push through an obstacle or an object. But yet there's these thoughts that get in your way. They're called um, limiting reminders. A limiting reminder is something that's come up before that you haven't paid attention to and you've held back and you haven't gone with it. For whatever reason, it comes up a second time to let you know it's here and you shouldn't ignore it. There are very few instances, although it can certainly happen, where these limiting reminders will come up three and four times in succession in a shorter space of time. Once you've got two, if you're not paying attention and you're not really listening or you're refusing to move forward with growth, with empowerment, with inspiration, the laws of the universe that want to guide your purpose in life tend to move on, 
to something else. Similar to people, you can offer somebody a job, you can offer somebody a house, you can offer somebody a partnership, you can make an offer that would benefit a lot of people. But ultimately, the choice, we have freedom of choice in this life, is up to whoever it is you're offering it to. If they say no and they refuse it, you, you move on. Sometimes something better comes along. But if the refusal happens, if the non-action happens, if the change of mind happens because there's fear in there, then that's from some other place. That comes from a space of lack, of poverty thinking, of programming, of somebody else's lie, somebody else's jealousy, somebody else's negativity. It comes from an, a, a non-productive, non-beneficial energy that you are buying into more than the energy of hope, destiny, inspiration, empowering and moving on. And if that's what you've chosen, you end up in what I call the ditch of doubt. You almost sit in the ditch by the side of the road, getting all this muck and mire from the tires of the cars whizzing by, all flooded all over you. Nobody wants that. Here's the interesting point. I'm sitting thinking, well, how does the dragon's door and the lady of the gift as a challenge upside down make a decision? Because they're both sort of dealing with the going within and she's talking about being deceitful, not being honest, not being truthful, mostly with yourself. This one's talking about going within and seeing the reflection and finding out if you're matched up with if your desires are matched up with the pathway that you're on. Here we have the third one, and I love this one because it's the map, mace, map maker of destiny. So when the map maker of destiny shows up, talking about authentic purpose, it's transformation and free will. So there are a few cards in this oracle deck, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, that are both allies and challengers. When the map maker of destiny shows up, basically says there are there's a there's a purpose for all of us. We're on our destiny when things are just smoothly, they're going along, we're jogging, and things are great. We are on our path of destiny at that point. At some points in our life, fate intervenes just by chance just by opportunity, just by something of a miracle that would not normally have happened. It pops along, comes along. The great part about this is the map of destiny says this is a time when you have the opportunity to grab a hold of something, let go of anything and everything you have already known and already done and seize the opportunity to just grab a hold, get your gifts that you want, get everything that you think you could possibly do and get that get that energy going as much as possible, fill up. So no coincidence, and I have to say this has got to be part of fate and the reason why it took me a long time to, to get on here this morning and work this out. Um, and I'm energized as you know what? I can't say it. It's rude. But um, these three coming up again, I'm going to show them. Well, blah, 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 we go backwards. This one goes there. <laughs> well, there you go. These three showing up basically says get whatever you've got going on the past, kick it to the curb unless it's part of what you want to do next. That's the Lady of the Gift. The Dragon's Duel, same thing. You've got to look in the mirror and really be honest with yourself and ask yourself, are you really doing what you want to do? Are you really with the people you want to be with? Are you really serving the purpose? And even if you don't know, even if you've got to the point where I don't really know what to do next, I'm really not sure how I go from here, where I go from here. That's good. That's good. Because the map maker of destiny says... Look at the opportunities that you have in your circle. Look at exactly what's going on. Toss out anything and everything that isn't working and go with your initial, go with your initial um, intuitive 
gut feeling, the first thing that comes up, I'll share real quickly, then we'll get to a meditation. Yesterday, I went to find um, a frame. I've uh, bought some posters from um, a wonderful artist known as Gen Jennifer Hawkyard. She's a British woman. She has a, 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 um, a store on Etsy. And she's done some of these amazing images that I got from Kyle Gray's um, angel cards. Like these are, to me, these speak to me. Um, they're fun. They're colorful. They're very descriptive. Anyway, I bought three of them. And I went to Michael's to get frames for them. Well, oddly enough, not oddly enough, the... Um, sizes are a little bit different so it's difficult to buy a frame with matting that's just pick up and go so i um went along to the map counter delightful young gentleman at michael's came up to me gave me the options i could have them do everything i could go pick a frame that i like from the shelf and have them cut the map i uh, the mat i could um do that and have them fit it or I could have them cut the mat, custom mat, and then put it in myself. Very, very quickly. I knew what I wanted the look to look like. I knew where I'm like, okay, within five minutes, I got the three frames. I went in there, he did the mat, paid for it, whoosh, 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 done, gone. In those situations, you know you're on your path of destiny because things are just smoothing along. It's when we vacillate it's when we sit and we wonder and we're not quite sure whether we should or whether we shouldn't. And I'll share another part of that. I am increasing the space in the salon where I'm working. They're moving to, well, they're renovating a big 10,000 square foot space and opening up uh, different small offices and suites and salons in there. So I uh, picked one that I knew immediately. Two windows on a corner, lovely and quiet. I have all the four seasons. I've got uh, uh, the sun coming up in the east and going down in the west. It's like it's this fabulous south-facing window and an east-facing window. So I'm I'm all good to go. Where I'm vacillating on is should I get more space? Should I get the suite next door? Should I open the wall? And all of a sudden, my imagination's going wild. The part I've got to let go of and the part that stops me is the expense of it all. I have a challenge with not prosperity but it's linked to it i have a challenge with being deserving of it with being i appreciate much one thing i don't appreciate is myself one thing i don't appreciate is the gifts i've got one thing i tend to do is be sensitive about certain things without expressing what i'm being sensitive about so those are things to work on all right, my friends, it's time to meditate. I've, paid, I've taken 13 minutes to explain these cards and I feel like if you've been waiting to meditate, I'm wasting your time. All right, feet flat on the floor, always start there. This time I want you to bring your hands and your palms up toward your heart and the heavens. And I want you to immediately, quickly take a big breath in. Release, remove, let go of anything that gets in your way, the trappings, the ties that bind you to ideas, thoughts, feelings that you no longer want, you no longer need, that no longer serve you. Just let them go, untie them, see them just woof, going away. Breathe in space, opportunity, inspiration, empowerment. Just breathe that right in. Fill up on the good stuff, the blessings. And since this is a full moon and you are connected to this amazing universe, I want you to sit and Think, picture, imagine the full moon out in front of you, slightly up above you, where you can see this full moon for its entire glory.
Just keep on breathing. See if you can use your imagination. When you breathe in, you draw the energy from the full moon towards you. Allow the light of the full moon to kiss your face, to flood your head and your hair. And as you breathe in, pulling the energy of the full moon down around you, on top of you, and within you. Become one with the lightness of the moon. Use the moon's energy to ignite and invoke clarity, clear mind, clear intention, and a solid pathway forward. Allow the power, the magic of this full moon and this hallow's eve to line everything up from the inside of you, from the spirit of you, from the soul of you through every avenue, pathway, doorway, window, lofty plains, mountains, and the oceans. May you be perfectly lined up with your purpose, with your pathway to destiny, Affirm, declare, commit to all the avenues, lines, opportunities of fate to be magnetized toward you to line up in perfect divine synchronicity and clearly place you on your path of destiny continue breathing in the light the magic and the power of the moon As you exhale, release, remove all that you no longer want or need. As your mind wants to drift off, bring your attention back to the image of the full moon.
use the power and the image of the full moon to extinguish and dissolve trouble hurt feelings depression anxiety worry and any other mental thought that tangles you up in woe Use the power of the moon and the universal divine law to cut and remove all these ties, negative ties, now. Continue breathing in the light of the moon and see all the obstacles you have placed in your way. The lies you've believed and now know not to be true. The guilt, the shame and all these things that you no longer want, need or claim. See these obstacles. magically being removed and be grateful, thankful for the energies that remove them. Now, with the vision in front of you, obstacles removed. With the ties that bind you to people, places, situations, stories that no longer serve you, being cut. Bathe in the feeling you've been delightfully placed on a path of destiny know and see that all your doubts have been dissolved See and feel what you seek to claim as now yours. See and claim what you wanted to happen has been achieved.
keep the focus and the energy of, a mo of the moon within you. And then repeat after me. I am a star. A star is a heavenly body radiating light. I am a heavenly body radiating light. I am a star. You can continue breathing in the light of the moon, repeating your affirmation about being a star and a star is a heavenly body radiating light. Be the star radiating light. When you're ready, you feel complete. Place your hands at heart center. Honor yourself for doing the practice and we honor all the guides, angels, higher ones, archangels and spirit guides that have come to help us this morning. Lift your thumb knuckles up between your eyebrows, bless yourself. And bless the light within the world. Namaste. Hmm. There you go. Um, that was pretty powerful. Um, I've enjoyed this reading this morning and meditation. Seems like it's morphing more into a little chit chat before we get started. Some of the earlier ones just went right into meditation. So I like that that happens. Um, really quickly, if you like this and want to continue, I hope you'll share it with people and have them like and subscribe. Um, so I can keep doing it, want to keep doing it. I get a lot out of this um, and it's now become a habit. I think I've been, this is going on, I don't know, almost two months. So I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate you sharing it and I appreciate what it offers other people. Okay, have a great Saturday. If you're going trick-or-treating, please be safe. Um, yeah, all those things, wash your hands, maintain your distance, drink responsibly and wear a mask. All right. Have a great, great Saturday and we will see each other tomorrow morning, 530. Bye.